Track 4, Traxxas UDR Upgrade Series with GPM, aluminum, and stainless steel parts. You're watching Let's Play RC. Stay tuned! Okay, so on this channel, me and my dad both maintain, repair, upgrade, and play with RCs and so much more. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Right on. So, uh, just before the break there, we said we were going to do another upgrade, which is going to be some stainless steel chassis uh -huh. plates or what are body plating and stuff yeah. so uh, we're just gonna get right into it so that you guys can see what's going on so we're gonna pull this body off now of course every time you see us do these uh, UDR upgrade videos you notice our truck starts like this and we got to pull the uh, body off and can I pull this body off do I know how apparently not maybe Dylan knows how oh there we go Here, yeah and then slide it that way and then yeah okay <laughs> so we're gonna throw that down so, what are these parts? So basically, yeah, guys, they're for along here. Your the actual name of this is a rear tube chassis panels. And this is front chassis. Oh no, that's the uh Well, what is that, buddy? That's the panel for the upper engine case, which is actually on the body. So, we'll save that one till the last. We'll start with these here. Um, Those will be pretty easy to lift. Yeah, this. and also guys, if you, we have other, well, if you've been here before, you'll know, we do try to run a above head camera for, so you guys can actually see what we're doing. Um, and all these parts, again, will be in the description. There'll be links in the description below, so you can grab them for your UDR if you think they're awesome. So. First thing we're going to start with is removing the stock plastic ones on the side here. Um, I am going to now get rid of our stand so that we can move the truck sideways and stuff so you guys can see in the top. So Dylan's just going to start by removing those. Those are pretty simple. Dylan, do you want it like parked way up like this? here? Well, there you go. Just about, for them to see, I guess. How about that? Then I think they can see that way. Do I need to scoot it back that way? If I drop screws, because I'm kind of taking. Okay. So we're gonna open this pack. The part number for the what they call the rear panel is. UDR ZSP2 OC. So, what's in the package? So, basically, guys, in this package, you just get the plates. So, you're going to have to use, reuse the screws, your stock screws. This is not a performance upgrade, this is a Style upgrade. I don't know where any of those screws are. Well, that's because you're throwing them all over the place. Because I just zipped them out all the time. Okay. Go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, need two more. Eleven, one more. So here's the plastic ones, and here's the metal ones. Where is <clears throat> I don't know, buddy. We'll find it in a minute, okay? You can put all those in here if you want. Put them all in there. One, two, just make sure I don't know. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, well, it's got to be right around here. Anyways, slow down, slow down. Okay, guys, so if you notice, 
The stock one, this triangle one here, has a hole in it. So, so you have an identical one. one here with a hole in it. The whole one goes right here, right here because of this body mass we'll post. Right out. So if Dylan would like to but screw, you could probably never put these up. Oh, did you take off the rail to get to this? Yeah, yeah. You should have explained that. Oh, right? yeah, you have to take the rail off to get this one off. There you go. Okay. It's, it's like okay, so you know, that stuck on so it. So you got you got to show them that we took off the rocker. Okay, that's part yeah. of the part of the job, we'll put right? Put the rocker on last. Okay. And also, it is also easier to get this screw out down here for one of these other that triangle skip, ones yeah. yeah that skip plate right there if you do take it off plate. so you kind of okay you have to okay so let's drill this one back in but one two three so it's a little bit of a puzzle but i think if we start with the one in the hole where the rock guard screws in that's a good place to start so i'll hold it and dylan will screw it in Honestly, this is one Dylan could have done pretty easily on his own. That's okay, a little help from Dad won't matter. Won't hurt. Okay, so there's that one. And then obviously the other triangle without a hole in it will be for here. And you just got to turn it until you get... The perfect. It in the right place. It's like see, a puzzle. See? I actually it tried only... to put that one on, and since these sides are both shorter, yeah. and that side's longer, it was like to yeah. here. So I was like, uh, this is broken out. And I was yeah. like, oh yeah. You gotta fit it like a puzzle, guys. You just turn it until you find the right fit. I think I like these already. Those look pretty spiffy. They do. Yeah. They're shiny. They're shiny. And then you want to put the rock guard back on, right? Yep. The rocker? Because the rocker's not going to be in the way of these ones. No. So on the railing, apparently you need a little there more you work go. on that hole. Probably because it's going through more plastic. So there's that, guys. We'll show you in the front camera as well. That looks pretty spiffy. Nice and shiny. See if I can get a reflection back. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we'll do the other side, but we won't, uh, we'll just speed through that side and then we'll get to the next one. And we're charging batteries so we can go out and play when we're done making an uh, upgrade video, right? Yeah. Yeah. These are real metal too. Yeah, they're like stainless steel. These other ones are plastic. Yeah. Boop, boop. Okay, so now that we are done with the rear tube chassis panels we're gonna do the front chassis panels but now guys you must understand that the front don't get screwed in they just get glued on with the stickers that are provided inside the package <laughs> now before you do that it's probably a good idea to take off the wheel so you can get to it easier Okay, now guys, this you're gonna want a Wet damp rain. rag. I would not suggest using any kind of uh, chemicals, cleaners, or anything like that. Um, in my experience, any kind of chemical cleaner, the stickers won't stick to you. So what you want is a warm, uh, damp rag, and wa wash it. And so Dylan, what you're doing? Let's see. You're just gonna wash those panels with the rag. Stickies on there. Is it stickies or is it chewed up plastic? It's chewed up plastic pieces. Yeah. Well, those are just these are just black stickers on here now. Actually, these are solid pieces with a black sticker on it. Yeah, I can tell. Right, and then you want to dry it with a dry rag. This is the important part: is making sure they're good and dry. 
right? Because otherwise the stickers won't stick, right? Yeah. So Dylan will continue that. I'm going to open the package to see what all we have. There we go. They're super dry. Okay. Next. So unpackage that stuff. So yeah, they got these 3M sticker backings. They come with each panel. Oh, those are actually really cool. They got like little vent holes. See that? Those are cool. And they're like real metal, okay? So those will go like that, right? So this plate is for this side. Like that. So we're gonna wanna. Okay, guys, so this. This is a good way to organize what you're doing. Make sure you get the right piece for the right one. So that's going to be there. A little cut out there. So see so you can take out the little cutout of the sticker. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing right down here. There we go. I can zoom in later. Nope. It comes clean. Okay, so take the make sure you guys take your time and sit. So this sticker is going to go on there. Other piece on that. Glue. Mm -hmm. Then you remove the other sticker. front side of that then you put your plate in place so guys that's it those are on now the main thing with the sticker ones make sure your surface is clean and dry before you do it and when you're peeling your sticker backing try not to touch the sticker with your fingers because otherwise it won't stick as good right yeah so that's those um, we'll put the wheels on quick. A metal plate for the hood. So, same thing on that. We're going to slide the truck over there for a minute. Washy, washy, wash. Same thing, clean and dry that. Just going to do the entire surface around it. Ooh, this one's actually in a Ziploc. Mm. <laughs> this is in a Ziploc bag. We'll save that bag. Of course we can. Little Ziploc bags are a great thing to have. Yeah. Okay, good. now, I'm noticing, guys, the sticker they give you for this one is actually square. And this is rounded, so you're going to have to trim it. Trim it, trim it. Trim, trim. And then we'll have extra sticker, which will be... Not useful. So I'm just going to hold it and trim it this way to get the general shape. The red? I might have cut a little too much off. I'm betting the closer you get, the better it's going to hold, but that's okay. So, same idea here. Uh, you guys can see. Okay, good. We're going to.
Hey guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I think those look pretty sweet. What do you guys think? Uh, we'll leave links in the description below in case you want to pick these up for your UDR. Yeah, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you guys don't miss a thing. Until next time, get out and play. play. See, See you, you later. later.